Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Alicia and I'm obsessed with stickers and planning, so if you are too, you're in the right place. My channel is full of plan with me's, sticker hauls, and other planning videos. All of my videos have timestamps in the description so you can skip around to different sections and to different shops in my hauls. And if this is your 20th time listening to this intro, you can go ahead and skip this too. All my social media links, including Instagram, are in the description as well as all the supplies I use and notes about each video. The planner I'm currently using is my standard size vertical planner, which I use for decorative memory planning. I also just want to add a couple quick notes about me since I don't always remember to go into detail in my videos and for new viewers it can be confusing. So when I mention work, I'm referring mostly to my bookkeeping position at a grocery store. And when I mention Anastasia, or Anna for short, she is my pet ball python. So let's go ahead and get started with this video, and I hope you enjoy! Hi everyone and welcome to another haul. If I'm not mistaken, this is the first haul filmed with both the new mic setup and the new phone and the new lighting setup. So this is probably the best it's ever been, hopefully, as long as um, my ability to edit it and the software is pulling through because I'm used to editing with different lighting and I had to re-tweak some settings for this new lighting setup so we will see how it turns out but all in all everything should be much better and the resolution should be much clearer since i am filming in 4k 30 frames per second on my new iphone se2 so um and the focusing should be a lot better as well so very excited to start off the new era of my videos and I don't have a ton for this segment of the haul. I really just needed to film this order that I just got in from Beniva Creations because I've been waiting on these stickers right here, the ones on top, for a couple weeks now, I want to say. I've done two spreads and filmed that, but I am waiting on these stickers to add to those spreads to finish them off, and then I can finally release those Plan With Me's for y'all. So... Um, I'm doing this right now before any other orders come in. I'm expecting a couple more though, so I might possibly have enough for a haul in the near future. Um, well, not in the near future. I might have enough to finish out this particular haul that you will be seeing, but it might be um, quite a long time after the previous one. So yeah, they might be kind of more sparse these days, but the plan with me's will be more frequent because um, I'm trying to cut back on spending and use more of what I have and make more stickers for myself in the first place. So, after that super long intro, let's go ahead and dive into the order. My reason for placing this order was entirely those stickers, um, but I decided to just go through my whole wish list, and then later I found out that there were other things on my wish list that had, like, been moved somewhere else due to me like messing with my wish list and deleting and adding stuff so uh, I missed those things and so I was really mad but oh well now I have another excuse to order again sooner than I probably would have because I don't think they release too much stuff as often these days and I think Jeff is mostly focusing on reformatting his older sheets as well um and I will explain those differences in a minute. Here we have the very pretty doily that they include in their orders with my name. I love it so much. I think you get different colors too each time. And then the freebie, oh, multiple freebies for the orders are these two. This one I think I have definitely received before. We have like a... Um, like a Zoom call on there with multiple people or just any video call. Bill do girl on a laptop. See, that's the old style of girl um, with the completely black eyes and also bigger. Um, his new characters have the white parts of the eyes and also I think they've been reformatted to be a little bit smaller. I think there are some examples in this part of the haul um, where you can see some of these smaller girls, but yep, they are made to be more useful in spreads because it's harder to work with the bigger stickers. Um, then we have some food, salad, grilled cheese sandwich, eggs and bacon, um, the dinosaur character with the coffee IV, um, the savings piggy bank, 
cat nap, yoga, I think, and then popcorn. So I have received that one before. I think this one is new to me though, this particular freebie. We have a girl with hearts. That's cute. Laundry basket. I like how tiny that is because I feel like a lot of my laundry stickers are pretty big. Um, milk, eggs, and bread, just like groceries. I like how that's actually of the groceries and not just like a grocery bag. Um, we have this girl sneezing with allergies, which is me all the time. Um, it looks like a delicious French toast at breakfast. And we have the sick dinosaur character right there, which is also me all the time. Um, I think that's like hiding with a bag over your head, like you're ashamed or something. Stack of money. Um, eating some chips in front of the TV. That's a really pretty looking cupcake. I don't eat cupcakes, but that is super cute. Um, a mug of hot cocoa. And then I think this girl's just in like relaxing clothes lounging around the house. So those freebies are like super generous. It's not often you get like 12 icons on a freebie. Um, so then I got a bunch of mini sheets. I think most of these are food, but some of these might be items. So I got a lot more mini sheets than the bigger ones but they are at a really good price point. So this one is ramen. Of course I had to get this one because I'm obsessed with ramen these days and I'm just buying all the ramen stickers. I actually made a whole new category in my organization just for ramen. Speaking of that, I am going to have to like reorganize everything and change the labels and move stuff around. So I might do an updated video on that at some point. But yeah, my collection is just expanding and I just need to move everything around and put it in alphabetical order again. So well, not alphabetical, but, like, I have a certain order that I like to put it in. But, yeah, I just love these ramen stickers. They are super realistic, and it looks amazingly delicious, just like my own ramen that I make. So, I love that. I'm going to get a lot of use out of those. And then, of course, the apple fritter stickers. I think I bought three, so there's one more, and there's two more. Yeah, I bought three because I knew I would need these because... So, we... My store director... Um, my boss went on paternity leave for a few weeks and then the interim we had our assistant manager take over as manager and he started having huddles which are like daily meetings every single day which we didn't used to have before it would only be like maybe a few times a week before if at all but he would start to have them every day in the morning and um, I like let slip during the first one that my favorite donuts are apple fritters and he like would always he always was bringing donuts and I like mention that apple fritters are my personal favorites and so now he makes sure that there is an apple fritter at every single huddle almost every single morning that I am there at work and I'm not about to pass it up so I am eating a ton of free apple fritters and I'm loving every minute of it and I'm gonna see how much I can mark those in my planner before I just completely get sick of trying to find a room to mark apple fritters every day like I've already gotten over marking coffee every day and even reading and groceries I've started to try to mark less because they're just too frequent but in the meantime I knew I would have to get three sheets to be on the safe side um there's one two three four five there's 15 per sheet so this is 45 apple fritter stickers and I would mark it maybe three times a week so I feel like this will last kind of a while but we will see. I'm very excited to try to use them. I feel like they might be a little bit harder to use because if it was just the fritter, it would be a good little thing size sticker. But since there is an apple in there too, it kind of brings it up to like quarter box size. But we're going to see um, when I actually put these in my planner right after this, we're going to see how well that works out. But I can probably trim it somehow if necessary. I would have to figure that out. But either way, I just love that he did an apple fritter sticker. I think I, like, requested it probably. So I'm super excited for that because that is my favorite kind of donut. All right, so that is that. And then, so there is some Christmas stuff just randomly mixed in here. I think it might all be at the top, though. Yeah, so let's just go over that while it's here at the top and also pretty recent in real life times. Um, so I got the one that was all of the little stockings. I realized I did not have like nearly enough stickers for stockings and I was marking a lot of stocking related stuff this year as opposed to previous years. Um, so naturally I needed the whole sheet. I have finished marking all of my Christmas stuff, um, for 2021 actually. Um, because I am like trying to be caught up now. So I have marked it all, but definitely going to get some use out of these for 2022 Christmas season. And then here we have 
some classic Christmas like decorated sugar cookies. I've been marking Christmas cookies a lot as well. And these are a little bit on the bigger side, but I usually put these in quarter boxes so I have enough room to write Christmas cookies. Um, and then the presents, I also did not have nearly enough like actual um, stickers of presents and I love how like realistic these are with the shading and the wrapping paper. It's just so fun. And they're like also different, different colors and everything. It's not just like one set color scheme, which I love because then you can just pull it in pretty much anywhere. You'll definitely have one. I also did not have nearly enough like decorating the Christmas tree stickers, weirdly enough. Like, I don't know, I felt like I was just pulling them off of like Christmas bucket list sheets and that was it. So I just wanted some plain decorated Christmas trees just in case and these would be good third box size stickers or you could trim them and put them in a quarter box, but love those. And then I got ice skates. I don't know why I have so many ice skate stickers, even though I've marked it in my planner like probably once in my life, but I really miss it this past season. I was like asking like why, what happened to ice skating? Was it there this whole time? And I just like didn't think about it. So I didn't go. I didn't hear anybody talking about going ice skating. So I mean, probably because of COVID, but still like feels weird that I just completely forgot about it this past holiday season. So kind of sad about that, but I do love ice skating. Um, so that is Christmas stuff. Now let's get back to the miscellaneous food, which I think is the rest of this. So we have pies. There is a lattice pie and a normal pie. I think I already own the lattice pie. I'm pretty sure I already own that one. So I just wanted to get the other one just so I could have both because they look so del delicious. Even though I don't really have a chance to eat too many pies, I just, I love the look of pie stickers. So I had to get those. Um, and then ice cream in a cup or I guess a bowl rather. I have a lot of ice cream cone stickers, but I wanted more of this type to mark like Baskin Robbins or eating it out of like a pint. Uh, well, not Baskin Robbins. Well, I guess my boyfriend gets ice cream from Baskin Robbins in a cup, but I usually go for a cone. But um, like places like Orange Leaf and Yogurt Land and stuff. I feel like this setup is better. I like how there's like so many hearts around the ice cream. Like that's a vibe. That's a vibe. I got these calculators to mark work because I... I'm running out of enough ways to mark my bookkeeping job because I do like to use specific like accounting type stickers for that so I'm always going to pick up new ways to mark that when I can and then I got these like margaritas because these are a drink I've been having a little bit more often lately when they are offered at a restaurant I like the rainbow on these they are still a little bit bigger though. All of these are more quarter box size. And then this is like kind of a fancy um, coffee drink, I think. I forget like what specific kind of drink this is. Actually, let me look at my invoice because, yep, it is just generic latte, but it's also under holiday drinks. So who knows, but it does have the little cinnamon stick in there. I just wanted more like fancy, um, coffee drinks because like when I go out to restaurants and order like a fancy mocha or something it usually looks something like this so just wanted to have more stickers for that and then churros I literally use churro stickers like a ton I feel like I am just a churro girl I love them so and it, these are a great size too like this would actually be good little thing size and whatever these dips are I want them so badly I think that's like chocolate and caramel but oh my gosh that looks so delicious I think that's another one I requested but we have an errant Christmas sticker in here. These are the wreaths and they are so beautiful and detailed. Like just look at that. Oh my gosh. I love these so much. I want to use these everywhere. I don't even know when, it, when I would use these, but I would probably just use these to mark even like Christmas day or something just because I would need to put them in somewhere. They are so pretty. This is like one of my favorite stickers ever. And they're so detailed. Mm, it's such a nice aesthetic. Alright, so and then we have ice cream cones. I was so surprised I didn't already have this. I feel like I did, but I don't know. Maybe I have it from another shop where it's like super detailed and shaded like this, but I did want the ice cream cone stickers as well, just for me and how I tend to get ice cream if we go to a place like Cold Stone or Baskin Robbins. So you get your vanilla chocolate strawberry and then vanilla chocolate swirl, which is fun. I did get the pill bottles, even though I have so many, I just couldn't resist getting more, and I like so rarely mark them, but I do want to mark 
um, both like picking up medication more, getting it delivered, and like actually taking medication for certain conditions that I don't take like every day. So trying to get more into that to use up all the stickers that I have, honestly, and then here I am just buying more. But this is the steak, and I think that's like baked potatoes in there. Either way, it looks delicious. For some reason, I have a lot of steak stickers, and I don't even use them that much because I'm not really a big steak eater, but I just think it's like also good for generic like dinner out situation. So it's good to have like a variety of sizes on that. Watermelon, another thing that I almost never mark. Where are the cantaloupe stickers? People need to come out with those because I am a big cantaloupe person. That is my like favorite fruit, honestly. Um, but everybody has watermelon stickers, and if there's a good watermelon, I'll enjoy it. I had good watermelon for breakfast in San Francisco the other day, and it was really sweet, not too watery, it was perfect. So I do enjoy a good watermelon, so I'll pick up the stickers anyway, but I want the cantaloupe. That needs to be a thing. And then we have barbecue. I'm trying to build up my collection of barbecue stickers because boyfriend barbecues, and he's into that kind of thing, and like if I go out to a barbecue restaurant, you know... This could be appropriate. Pizza slices. I need to like go through my pizza collection because I never use it and I feel like most of my stickers are like really old and like not particularly the style I would use anymore so can't hurt to like build up some newer uh, pizza sheets in my collection that I know that I will use. This is a good size too. This might even be like little thing size. This might work for that. And then macarons. I love this how it's like just a giant stack of them so fun so brightly colored I don't eat these really that often enough to have that many macaron stickers and I don't have that many but I've been like eyeing the box that we have at work because I feel like every few months I'm probably just gonna buy it it's like the only box that we have in our frozen section but I want it um we also have uh, uh, macaron ice cream sandwiches that are really good those are like a really special treat and then just plain sandwiches I've been, like, finding situations where I need to mark sandwiches that are, like, not just sub-sandwiches, so it's good to have plain ones. Sometimes I will be in a sandwich mood when I go to a restaurant. I usually get, like, a Reuben sandwich. It's kind of my jam. And then we have pot stickers here. I'm obsessed with pot stickers. I love these so much. So, so much. I, like, always get these as an appetizer when I go to Asian restaurants. Delicious. All right, that is it for the tiny sheets. Let's get into the bigger ones. So I can kind of show you an example of the um, the new sizing men design. So we've got some Christmas stuff in here. This is like Christmas movie watching. This is like a super detailed sticker. This is like a great half box size sticker right here. Um, yeah, I don't even know if I would have any room to write the movie if I use that in a movie marquee. So that might have to be a half box sticker. I would have to think about that and how I could arrange that, but I do love how detailed it is. I love the Christmas tree in there. And then we have some smaller ones, which is great, which is all like bundled up, all cozy. And you can choose the skin tone hair color for these as well. And then here's just like the mixed sheet. So we have like putting up lights and decorations with the wreath there and then putting ornaments on the tree. Again, I didn't have enough of those. And yeah, these are like a really nice smaller size of sticker and then this is like Christmas present wrapping or I think this is just normal wrapping actually I think there was like an option for Christmas present wrapping that I decided not to get because I already have a ton of stickers in that particular category and I didn't have enough just like plain anytime Christmas wrapping yeah this is just generic wrapping gifts. It is more ge geared towards like wrapping birthday gifts rather than Christmas. But yeah, I love those. Cause like, you know, I do wrap. Well, I guess for my boyfriend, his birthday is like right before Christmas. So I would wrap gifts for him during the Christmas season. So I, I do use Christmas wrapping paper for him. So, but like other people, um, man, I don't even know. I guess my mom, but I don't wrap stuff for her. Cause like, I don't live with her, so I send stuff to her. I guess maybe Aiden and Alex. Um, and then here is Christmas baking, another category that I have way too much of that I never reach into, but I don't know. I couldn't resist. I think there is a normal baking that I pr 
probably didn't buy because I'm not that much of a baker. If there was a time I was going to be a baker, it would most likely be around Christmas. So this kind of makes sense. Um, so we just have the normal sugar cookies. Actually, that's what this whole sheet is. This isn't really a gingerbread sheet. It's more like a Christmas, like cut out sugar cookie sheet. So we have various stages, stages of the process there. And I love that. And this size is like so good. I love this. Love these changes so much. Um, and then this is like muffins. I didn't really have a baking muffins sheet, but I feel like that's one of the easiest things to bake. And so I tend to go for that more than other things like cakes or cookies. No, nope, I'll go for muffins and they're easy to grab and eat too. And like bring for breakfasts. I love the red ribbon in her hair and her red apron. That is such a vibe that it's like what it would look like. Like I literally have a red ribbon for my hair like that. And then washing dishes, again, love the smaller size. Love all these facial expressions. Like, I feel like a lot of people actually enjoy washing the dishes, like, more than you would expect. I do. I like washing... Well, I don't like um, having to do it when I don't want to do it, but oftentimes I do enjoy it when I'm actually doing it. But I just... I love activity stickers where, like, there's different facial expressions. It just cracks me up always. So... And for some reason, I really like marking washing dishes in my planner. That's another category that I had to take out of cleaning and make its own category because I have just too many, too many stickers. So this is headache. I feel like I already have this sheet, but like I had the old bigger size, I think. Either that or I had just like stomach aches or something. I definitely had the stomach aches and like other aches sheet. So maybe I didn't have the headaches, but yeah, I'm just, I'm always needing more headache stickers too. Unfortunately, that's a thing that my brain likes to do to me is give me headaches. So there's that. And then I got football because I don't have that many football stickers for myself. I'm not the big football watcher, but boyfriend and friends are family. They are all football watchers. So I feel like there are occasions where I will need to mark it. So I'm just trying to grab more stickers and kits in relation to that for future purposes. Um, what is, I think this is planning. Oh, I love Again, I love all the detail, how many things are on her planner desk, her expressions. That's so fun. Love this. I'm trying to, like, mark planning more, like, pre-planning with this type of sticker more in my spreads. So, this is well-timed. And then lastly, we have reading. Another thing that I have, like, a million and one stickers of sticker sheets for this particular task. But it's, like, the one thing that I will allow myself to just buy unlimited amounts of um, because again, I usually mark it like five days a week. So, and like, that's something that I can cut back on cause I just mark it so much. Um, but I, for some reason don't like to, I like to mark it every single day that I do it. Probably because I have so many stickers for that task, but yep. Got different iterations of reading right here. these are all like quarter box size stickers. So there is that. And that is everything from Benefit Creations for this order. Obsessed with everything as usual. Cannot wait for my next order. I just need Jeff to start drawing more sheets. And I know that they've been like busy with other stuff, but really hope that we can get more in the future so I can place my next order and actually order the things that I forgot to add to <laughs> this order. But yeah, I really can't wait to put those apple fritter stickers down right now and get those videos up for y'all which you will already have seen by now i'm sure but yep that is it for this segment so let's go ahead and get into the next one okay so i'm finally getting into the next part of this haul this is quite a bit of time later from the first section and i have not put those stickers away yet because i'm waiting to put them all together for the thumbnail photo so i really want to use those mini creation stickers but i have held off thus far until i had a few more orders come in surprisingly the one that i was waiting on like the only one that i was waiting on in the first section is like the only one that hasn't come in yet well not really but i'm still waiting on that one i think it's um coming from a pretty far away country so that might take a while but in the meantime i did place and receive a simply gilded order um my stick with the plain coat order came in that was also international and then I had a shop send me something entirely out of the blue, so that was really sweet. So first, let's just get started with these Simply Gilded so we can push these off to the side, the stack. So this was part of her huge Mystery Monday release kind of situation. 
So she does do Mystery Mondays uh, fairly frequently, I would say. They're not every Monday, I don't think. But she will release, I think, like stuff that she has extras of from previous releases. Um, and this one, she just released a whole bunch at once. So of course I had to go in and I was at work at the time when it dropped and I always like log in right away just so that if something runs out, like I don't, I don't miss anything. Um, and so I wasn't able to like check my collection to see what I had. So I really hope I didn't get any duplicates. I kind of glanced at what I already have and I don't think I got any duplicates, but like there's some that I like really feel like I have, but we will see. So for the freebies, of course we have our bow seal. And then we have the sampler freebie that I think she's probably going to get rid of at some point. I don't think a lot of people use these, but there's a cute little Jasper the Bear on there. We have the journaling card. These cards actually all came completely undented, which is very unusual, I think, because there were so many that the thickness of them kind of kept them from bending, thankfully. But here we have the intact journaling card with the moon design. Looks like it's rose gold foiling right there. I've just kind of realized that like I have like a copper foil or a bronze foil I forget which one but it's like it's actually like a really dark brown is what it is essentially and I was like man I wish there was like an actual lighter option I mean I probably have bronze and like I should just buy copper or something like that but then I was looking at the rose gold that I have that's like a classic rose gold not pink rose gold and I was like that's pretty like light that's like kind of a light bronze almost so I was like that could be an option if I needed that for any particular, you know, color scheme or something. So I was thinking like, I need to actually use rose gold, like in that sense, because thinking about it as rose gold, like it makes me think of pink and like, that's a whole different story because it's not really pink. So I was trying to figure out a way to get myself to use that foil more. So maybe thinking of it as like a copper, a light copper might help. Anyways, so many colors of foil out there that I'm just kind of learning about. So I did get a couple of the passport um, tapes that were released. So I did get the, um, what is it called, postcards that come with them. These are just so pretty, like, display pieces. I do keep all of these. So we have the Seattle, Washington one, and then the Chinese New Year one right here. The Seattle one was the one I wasn't sure about if I had already gotten because I feel like I did but I didn't see it in recent orders and it wasn't on my list of like um like passport washies that I wanted because I do keep a list but I thought like it was at one point on my list and I took it off so I was like maybe I already bought it but I don't know I didn't see it in my collection so I don't think I did but either way now I for sure have one so these are the passport washies this one is the Seattle one we have the Seattle skyline right here. There's that like famous tower. What is it? The needle? I don't know. I haven't been to Seattle. I want to. I want to go. I haven't really been in the northwest necessarily like Seattle and Portland. I haven't been to those places, but I want to go. And then here's the Chinese New Year one. I'll probably try to find a way to pull this into all of my Lunar New Year spreads because I'm doing one for last year and one for this year. I just thought it was so gorgeous. I love the fireworks. It's like so dark. The, the sky in this tape is so dark, but it really allows the colorful buildings and the fireworks to kind of pop. So there's that. And then lastly, huh. So this one is the, oh, so no, this isn't actually a passport. This is a landscape. I always kind of buy them both whenever they're available. Um, and honestly, I can't really tell the difference. So I guess Iceland is not like a passport location, but we do get an Iceland landscape. So that's what this one is. I think it's kind of funny because I've heard that Iceland is pretty green and Greenland is the one that's like covered in ice. So this is kind of funny that it is actually Iceland covered in ice, but it is gorgeous. So I love collecting these just because any kind of destination or landscape tape, I just, they're my favorites. Absolutely. For like Happy Mail and pretty much that's it, but still. Um, all right. So we have some Stardust tapes as well. And this random dude right here, this is the pink. She sells seashells in sparkler silver hollow. So this is probably part of some kind of release that I missed. I don't think it was my original intention to get it. 
um, but since it was on Mystery Monday discount, I just threw it in. I just thought this was really cute and would be fun for, like, summer Happy Mail. I don't imagine there's too many spreads this will go with, but it'll be cute for Happy Mail. And I like that sparkler hollow foil as well. I bet that will look a lot better rolled out. Looks like a pretty, like, iridescent kind of tape. Um, and then these three are Stardusts. I don't usually buy too many star but Stardusts. I'm not a huge fan. I think I got the Halloween one and the Christmas one, and I'm like, that's it. I'm set. Um, but then I was starting to think about other holidays, and I guess these were kind of the offerings for Valentine's Day and St. Patrick's Day. So I got the green one with the gold Stardust for St. Patrick's Day, although um, you could also use it for Christmas. And for Valentine's Day, I got both the pink one, the juicy pink stardust, and then the red satin one. So just a, a pink option and a red option. And this red with gold could also be a Christmas tape as well. Um, she did red with silver. That'd be good 4th of July tape. I was trying to think of other red holidays. Um, and then this one is pink and there's like little hearts in there. So that is clearly like a very Valentine's Day type of stardust washi. This one does not have hearts in it. So just this one. But yeah, that's like a great valentine's day a happy mail washi i want to like it just now occurred to me and it's probably a little late to think about it but i want to like send out valentine's day happy mail to my gals <sighs> it might not even arrive by then but if i send it out probably like tomorrow <laughs> it might arrive but that would be such a cute idea for like a valentine's day um so yeah uh i was gonna say that was it but that's not i forgot this enormous stack of gem of the months so i basically the last order I placed was, I think, for Black Friday, and clearly I had missed out on a lot in the meantime. I didn't realize that there were four I needed to get, and I was, like, really worried about getting duplicates, but, um, and she's also been doing the Gem of the Month thing for, like, over a year now, so, um, but instead of, like, bringing out the same exact tape as the previous year, she does, like, a 2.0, so it's slightly different, um, but I was still worried that, like, it would be close to what I already had, but I don't even know... Um, they don't look that close to ones in my collection, or the ones in my collection are, like, solid colors and not, like, gemstone, like, overlays. Because I think I have one that's, like, this color, but it doesn't have the, like, gemstone effect in it, so I feel okay about that. But, yep, um, so let's see what we got. We got Tiger's Eye. This, I think, yeah, so this is not a month specific. This is for Chinese New Year, I believe, because it's the year of the tiger. So she did a tiger's eye tape. I'm pretty sure that's what this is about. I just really love this orange. Again, I, like, hate orange as a color. This color orange, hate it in general. But, like, when it comes to planner stuff, I love it. I love orange foil more than, like, anything in the world. If there's orange in a kit, like, if it's done well, I will be all over it. Like, Halloween needs to be orange all the way. So, yeah, I don't know. It's it's weird, but this, this tape is gorgeous. Mm love that tiger's eye. That bright orange gemstone is such a pretty thing. So, um, these and these did come with the 10 millimeters, but I already took those out because I don't keep those. I de-stash those. So, um, here we just have the 15 millimeter and the five, which I do keep as well. Keep telling myself I'm going to use those as headers, and then I never do because I just have too big of a collection of, um, leftover glitter headers to pull from, so I never need to reach for the tapes, but I did stop buying glitter headers separately. If shops don't include them in their kits, I stopped buying them separately to kind of force myself to use either leftovers or tapes. All right, um, what is the next one? So December's blue taupe has 2.0, so that must be this one because it's blue. So it is a 2.0, so I might have, um, December of the previous year. I didn't really see, like, a blue one in my collection, so maybe I just missed it. I don't know. Either way, I don't have one like this, and I'm really glad I do now, because this bright blue is so pretty. It's like a good ocean blue. This would go really well with some, like, beach spreads that have, like, this bright color blue for the water, I feel like, or, like, pool day spreads. Of course, I usually typically use these on Happy Mail, because they look so gorgeous, and I just, I love putting them on cards, and, like, when people open them, I'm like, but look at the washi, isn't that the prettiest washi? And then they're usually, like, non-planner people, and they're like, oh, yeah, that's cool. But I just love showing it off to people. <laughs> It's funny. Um, but yeah, this gorgeous blue. Love it. And next we have Amethyst and Garnet. Do not ask me which one is which. If I had to make a guess, I would say that that is Amethyst and that is Garnet. Who knows if I'm wrong. I'm sure some of you will correct me in the comments, but they're both purples. So yeah, this one's kind of a mauve purple. 
and yeah this one I think I have one that's just like a solid color of this tape and not the gemstone effects um, and then this one I don't think I have anything at all in this shade of purple but it is super gorgeous oh wait no I think this is garnet and this is amethyst mm, I have no idea I know that my birthstone is sapphire and I think God's blue I'm really bad at this but anyways I love those so those are the gem of the months I love how she's doing them for like holidays and other stuff too other than just months like the tiger side that's pretty cool that she's doing that although I feel like she's gonna run out of colors at some point like <laughs> I don't know how many there are out there but um yeah so that is actually it from simply gilded let's put that stuff off to the side now and next let's get into my teeny tiny order from stick with a planko this is my first official order I have a couple sheets that were gifted to me from my best friend sage um that I have used um, and I haven't placed an official order because there were, there were a lot of sheets that I wanted from her shop. Um, and I still haven't placed that base order yet. This is not the base order. This was just, um, kind of like a retiring sale for this particular, like, sheet format and style because, um, these are manufactured and I think she was switching back to in-house, which I am 100% a big fan of. I love when shops are in-house. And I think a lot of people end up, you know, making the switch back to in-house after manufactured. Seems to be a trend. But, um, yeah, so I'm going to place a bigger order once she does the transition fully. But since these were on sale, like a pretty good 30% discount, I was like, I might as well just see what few sheets I can grab now just to have them sooner um, at a good discount. And... There were, like, limited quantities, obviously, because she's just getting rid of inventory, so there were a few sheets that I wasn't able to get because I wasn't fast enough. I mean, it, the sale started at, like, 3 in the morning my time, and so obviously I was asleep. Um, so when I finally woke up and remembered, like, a few were gone, but that's okay, I'll just get them when they are re-released. So there's only a, a few in here, but... And then one sheet I already did take out for Nessa... It's the same sheet as this. She already knows that because she asked for it. But um, it's the same as this, like, plan with me one, but with the brown hair. So here's the journaling card. It's a little Christmas scene. This is so cute. I really like this. I love her art style. Super cute. And there we go. There's a little thank you code. Oopsie. You're welcome. Um, so let's go ahead and get into the order we have a little freebie right here with a piggy bank savings girl little squidge holding instagram icon hanging on by a thread that's cute and then little cold squidge right there i definitely will get a lot of use out of that because i do mark cold weather a lot at least during the winter months so there's like i don't know one three four five six only six sheets in here so teeny tiny. So yeah, I had to get the filming plan with me sheet. I just love when there's like a little whole filming tripod set up right there. Pumpkin Paper Co. is the other shop that has that. And Um's Goal Cat Studio. So I really wanted this one as well. And that's a good size. That would be like a great third box size actually. And it already says plan with me. So I could just, you know, write in film and then call it a day. And then edit. That's still kind of a bigger sticker though. I need like little thing size edit stickers. And then upload. And yep, and then some of them repeat over here. It's an interesting like formatting style because these don't follow the same pattern as the rest of the sheet. Cool. Anyways, love that. I did get the black hair option for all of these. I don't think you can customize the skin tone at this time. So here's the Animal Crossing sheet. Here's Animal Crossing on the Switch, which I have, and I have a Switch. I just haven't started that. I'm trying to like do all the Mario games first so it might be a while before I get an Animal Crossing but I am stocking up for that moment um and then here she is with the Animal Crossing leaf bug catching and then it repeats I definitely like catching bugs as opposed to catching fish <laughs> one is easier than the other so um here's like Christmas letter writing like writing Christmas cards I like having this specifically for Christmas cards although I think I actually do have a lot of sheets like that but I don't know. I just wanted these right now, I guess. I like the Dear Santa one. That's cute. Dentist. I don't have enough, like, dentist-specific stickers. I have a lot of teeth stickers, but, like, I wanted one of, like, an actual dentist, so that's perfect. This is exactly what I wanted, and I do have a dentist appointment on Tuesday now. My 
appointment for my crown has been rescheduled at least three times now, so I'm really hoping that Tuesday is the day. And then here we have a rainy day. I love rain stickers just so much. I do have a lot of bigger ones. I'm kind of trying to look for some smaller ones, but maybe I should just start accepting that rainy day is like a third box just activity and I should make myself some third box size scripts. That's what I should do, honestly. Um, cause I just have more like this size rainy day stickers than anything else. But yeah, I just love these. I love the little duckling, the little sitting inside with the rainy day outside. That's like my vibe. That's why I love rainy days is being inside <laughs> and then the upside down or inside out umbrella, which is a vibe. It's like my umbrella all the time. I have one that's like supposed to be wind resistant, but it's not. <laughs> not with these Santa Cruz winds. All right, and then finally we have the cooking sheet. I don't know why I particularly got this sheet. I'm like obsessed with buying like cooking soup stickers. I don't know why, because like I cook ramen and I use ramen stickers for that. Like I don't cook soup in a pot necessarily. But like, I don't know. I want to be the person that cooks soup in a pot. So I buy all those stickers. Anyway. That's my first teeny tiny little order from Stig with a Planko. There will be a lot bigger of an order when she switches to in-house. But yeah, it's on that kind of nice manufactured, what is it called? Um, vinyl paper, I think. I had to think a minute because I always say that word wrong on the first try. Um, all right, and then lastly, yeah, I'm definitely zooming through this haul. I might just publish a short haul for you guys because... Um, it's been a long time since I've published a haul and I have no idea when my orders are going to come in. So it might just be a short one. But lastly, I have a gift package from Liner Designs, who I just found on Etsy. Um, I think she has both printable and physical options. And I've just kind of started like considering the idea of printable kits again, because now that I finally have a printer and ink, that like produce great quality designs and I have good paper. Um, like I could theoretically print kits now. Um, and I also kind of figured out how to wrangle my silhouette into printing cut lines that are not insanely off. Um, so it is a possibility. Uh, the only thing I'm like iffy about is like the format of printable kits because they're often very different from the format of printed kits. Um, but Anyways, I started looking at her shop and I noticed that she used a lot of art from that one artist. It's like minimal, like 087 or something like that. I don't know. I'll try to remember it and put it in the description. But um, like everybody's using her nowadays. Like it really took off and now that's like all I see is her art. Um, but yeah, this was like the first shop that I kind of discovered had used a lot of her art that I had not seen anywhere else. Um, in particular, this Alice in Wonderland set right here. And so I bookmarked that shop to um, try it later. And then Lynn actually reached out to me and offered to send me the Alice in Wonderland kit that I had like shared on Instagram um, free of charge just to try it out. And I was like, yes, please. Of course. That would be awesome. Of course, I'm going to, you know, take her up on that. Um, I'd be very excited to try it out. And so I think she did say that she threw in a bunch of extras in here as well. So I'm very excited to see what is in here. I have not opened this yet, but very excited. So here's her little tag right here. And let me just get this up so that we can open it properly here. So I did tell her that I like my kids ultimate size and glossy. And then I think she said she threw in a premium matte kit or some other variety. Um, so what else do we have here? We have a die cut of this gorgeous girl with the dragonfly tattoo. Very cool. And then some sticker sheets. These are definitely like premium matte, it looks like. So we have a little laundry line. I love the little laundry line stickers. Just as a type of sticker, I like it a lot. And then another laundry girl. I haven't seen this girl in a very long time. I used to have some printable stickers from another shop with that girl in it, but that seems to be like her character. And then here we have some Z's for sleeping. Yeah, definitely we'll get a lot of use out of those because I mark naps and sleeping in like at least one of those things every day. So goodness gracious, there's a lot going on here. All right, so here is the Alice kit and then it looks like the other kit that she threw in is the cotton candy kit and yeah definitely a lot of people are using this too so very excited about that 
and they are both from the same artist, I believe. So, yeah, this, I was, like, so surprised when I saw this, because I was, like, you would think I would know about all the awesome Wonderland art that's out there, but somehow, like, this collection just escaped my notice for so long, and so I was, like, really delighted to find it in her shop, and I actually haven't even seen it anywhere else, so definitely if you like Alice in Wonderland and want to collect all of the art, definitely check out Leonard Designs. Um, but yeah, I'm obsessed with this. So there's little Alice and the Cheshire Cat. I think it's funny that it's, it looks like the Cheshire Cat that she's playing with and not Dinah, which is her actual cat, which always cracks me up that Cheshire Cat is the cat that gets all the attention. Well, I mean, Dinah's not really in it, but still. <laughs> um, and then there's the White Rabbit this gorgeous teapot and teacup set, got some cake and the actual book, and gold flatware, that's my favorite kind. We have our Queen of Hearts playing card, a cup of tea, this adorable hedgehog for some reason, um, the little drink me bottle and the eat me cake, oh that's fun, seeing that as a cake instead of cookie, and the double box scene of like an outdoor table set up with the teapot on it. Super cute and so this is the ultimate kit, so there's everything in here. We get the check boxes, sidebar trackers. Um, I love this page with all the boxes. That is so many fancy labels. I'm obsessed with that, and actually, it's doubled up because she did follow the format that a lot of people are doing these days, which is having our patterned box page and then our solid box page. So we have 12 fancy labels that are patterned and then 12 that are solid, and I've been like obsessed with fancy labels. Like That's pretty much all I want to use from now on. Like. I don't really want to buy quarter boxes anymore, like, I just want to buy or, I guess, make, um, fancy labels, so, I'm so glad there's so many. I might actually be able to get away with using only these for this spread, but, and also third boxes, like, there's, um, 16 third boxes in here as well, which I also love as opposed to half boxes. I've been using way less half boxes, way more third boxes, so this format is perfection just because of that. And also, I'm just going to save them for later if I don't use them, like, in this kit. Because there are still a lot of kits out there that don't have enough third boxes. So, that's a vibe. I love that. So, perfect formatting right there. Got some other little bits sneaking in here. Okay, so that's fun. These are her little characters that are um, colored. At least her shirt is colored to match the kit. So, that is super fun. I haven't seen that. But that's awesome. Like, a whole separate sheet of, like, so many of these. That's really cool. And then glitter headers as well. Two, three, four, five, six. So there's 24. So that actually is a good number of glitter headers. I think I usually use about 24 if I'm using a few in the sidebar. Um, and then the rest of the kit. Let's see what we got. Ooh, we got even more... Um half boxes, thirds, and quarters over there. That's really fun because they are patterned as well. And then squares. I do love the squares as well. I think everybody should be putting square boxes in, especially now that I'm doing more custom foil, which has really intricate bougie boxes. Definitely a good opportunity to do some squares and some workout labels. That's fun. I haven't seen those very often. So we have our ninth full box, flat lay with the shoes, pocket watch, and it looks like a little key. It's very pretty. Uh, split bottom washi, which is great. I love that it's already split. And I love these date covers as well. Oh, wow. So we have um, deco, date dots, and icons. These are really gorgeous icons. Wow. Yeah, those are really pretty. I think those will go well with the kit, too. I don't know if they're recolored for the kit, but I think they will go. So I like those a lot. And then here's our deco. A lot of bigger deco. But that's okay since I've kind of started cutting deco when I need to. And really pretty weekend banner as well. I love that style of weekend banner. So for our extras, we get um, fashion girl skin tone hair color variations. And then a skin tone variation for the hand with the card box as well. A giant post-it note. That's kind of fun. And then little bow clips down there. So we have, looks like, um, solid headers or washi strips. Very cool. I like having these because sometimes I use these as, um, like, extra little things. And that 
Actually, it's interesting because I don't think this kit comes with little things. I don't think those are just included in that format. So I will definitely have to be using these as little things. But yep, then there's some habit trackers, bill dues, three heart checklists, and then some actual squared off quarter boxes as well. So yeah, you do certainly get a lot in this format. I'm a huge fan of all the boxes and labels on that page. So there is the Alice kit, and then, yeah, this is really nice. Premium mat. Yeah, so the actual sticker part is very thin, but it, it is great quality. So I'm not going to explain everything about the format again, obviously, since you've already seen the format, but I'm just going to page through it. So yeah, a lot of people are using this cotton candy art as well. I don't think I was going to pick it up, but now that I have it, I'm pretty happy to use it. Um, I do like the colors. I love cotton candy in general, and it looks like there's a lot of sweets in here, and I am a huge sweet tooth, so definitely going to be using this. So we have our two fashion girls here. I love the ombre in her hair, and that looks like enormous, delicious cotton candy. I haven't had cotton candy in so long. Like, I want it now. That looks like the most delicious drink ever. Like, that must be like hot chocolate or something, but oh my gosh, there's so much candy in there. Oh, I love it. We have a little, like, bunt cake type thing or pudding ring or one of those circular cakes. I don't know. Little candies right there. More gold flatware, my favorite. Um, this looks like some kind of party favorites. I don't know what these guys are. And then circular cotton candy objects in there. I don't know what that is either, but it looks fun. Um, and then we have, I think these are supposed to be a double box scene, but, like, the part that, like, shows how they're connected is, like, the part that's not there so that's kind of funny but you can you can kind of tell it's supposed to be a double box scene of the interior of the room and um then over here we have a flat light with some headphones and jewelry bows stuff like that i do like the kind of pastel color scheme of this kit so there's that page we have an extra full box with a manicure got some fun patterns for the bottom washi so yeah, the icons are not recolored per kit. They are just pink. But it is a nice kind of muted pink that I feel like will go with a lot. I love the florals in those icons as well. Um, pattern page. Oh, this is so satisfying to look at. I love rectangles. Like, I say it all the time, but I'm obsessed with rectangles. So seeing so many all on one page just makes me happy. So many rectangles. Here we got our sheet of girls. And then the glitter headers, the extra boxes and squares, alternate fashion options, and post-it note as well. And then, so these are all like washy, like um, pattern washy style boxes. So I would have to pull in all little things from my own collection for that. And yeah, that is my sweet little happy mail gift from Lynn from Linner Designs. So I would definitely recommend you check out her shop if you're looking for either printable or physical options um, for kids if you like this format and also if you like this artist. She has a ton by this artist. I'm definitely going to be picking up more. Um, I think I'll try some printables and see how well I can get my printer to work on glossy paper um, for those. I want to pick up the matcha one. I want to pick up the forsythia one. I think those were the only two on my list, but she has like a bunch others by this artist and I think other artists too. So definitely check out her shop. Excited to buy more. So yeah, I am going to call this haul right now. I have some orders coming in. I'm still waiting on my international order from March goodies. I'm like really excited about that and it's taken a long time to get to me. I think it's from the Philippines. So yeah, those always take forever. So hopefully that'll get to me at some point. Um, I'm still waiting on my Crafty Planner Co. like PR slash sale order. Um, I think that should come in real soon, like within days. And um, placed a big Solar Prints Co. order. Those usually ship decently fast. So well, that should ship soon. And I feel like there's probably some stuff I'm forgetting. I did place a Teddy Plans Co. order only for printables. So some of them are custom, so those will be a while. But I did get some of the already like pre-made printable sheets. So as soon as I get off my butt and decide to print those out, 
um, I may haul those as well. But yeah, I think that's everything that I've ordered lately that has not come in. So lots to look forward to. But thank you so much for watching. If you want to like, comment, subscribe, and share, that would be fantastic. And I will see you in my next video. Ciao, ciao.